we are, we're going to try this again without the big rib that I always use. It's centered and ready to go. I'm going to open it, but this time, uh, chances are you won't open it exactly, or open, I mean, pull it up to exactly four and a half inches tall. So if you're pulling it up and it goes over to four and a half inches tall, cut it shorter. Because <laughs> last time I pulled it wasn't quite four, and then this time it's going to go a little bit over. And you can kind of tell, you don't want to pull really hard. There's enough clay here, you could pull a tall cylinder, but I only want to go four and a half. So I'm going to pull it up to, it's going to be a little more than four and a half. You've got quite a bit of clay here, so I'm not worried about it. And I'm going to make that. And see, so we're a little bit more than four and a half. And you don't go, because you don't go too much. If it was that much more, I would just cut it off. And you can cut it off by this caliper leaves a mark and then you can just follow that mark and cut it off. That's not worth cutting right now. So, Okay, so now I've got it the height I want and now I want to throw my little shallow bowl. It's going to be seven inches. The rib throws a nice sort of open bowl. So you want to make sure when you're throwing your bowl that you have a nice open um, contour or inside of your bowl. You can use your hand like your rib. And we'll throw that to seven inches. Now if it's more than seven inches, this one is seven inches. If it's more than seven <laughs> inches, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger on purpose so we can show you how to bring it in. It's a little bit difficult to bring it in, but if you're going to bring it in, uh, get your hands wet and pull the clay towards you and notice my finger on the top is just going to support that. A lot of times when you're pulling in that way you'll get that rippling effect and it's not what you want in a bowl. Okay so now I've got it, I pulled it in. It should be seven inches. It's close enough. And now I don't have the big rib to open it up so I'm going to use a ruler and I'm just going to flatten that out with a ruler. I'm going to measure, see if I'm there. Oh, not quite there. Go a little further. And measure. If you go too far, because I'm going to smooth in the inside of this a little bit. If you go too far, past your nine and a half, you can always cut it. I think that one's too far. You can always cut it smaller. Okay, I've made a lot of nine and a half inch bowls. If it goes too big, you can always just cut it down to the size you want. Maybe you only want nine inches. Those are my measurements. So you would just cut it down, straight down that way. Then you can have any measurements you like. So there's a little bowl, um, a pasta bowl without the big rib. I opened the clay. I'm going to just sponge it and seal it. So there's pasta bowls with and without the rib and without the pasta. <laughs>